Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Grandma Vern's Book Corner. I am Grandma Vern. When I count to three, will you share your names with me, please? One, two, three. Fantastic. We just celebrated a wonderful holiday, Mother's Day. Now there's another holiday coming. You're smart. You know. On the count of three, let's all shout it out. One, two, three. Father's Day. Great job. Let's settle down and listen to a story about Father's Day. The name of the book, The Berenstain Bears Father's Day Blessing. Open your eyes, open your ears, quiet now, let's begin. It was early June, and all over Bear Country, June things were happening. The flowers were bursting into bloom, the birds were singing in the trees while building their nests. Butterflies danced around Mama Bear's head as she worked in the garden. And not far off, another June thing was happening. Brother, sister, and honey were making Father's Day plans. What should we do this year, wondered sister. It's hard coming up with something new and different each year. Papa could take us out to the movies, said brother. There's a cool new Space Grizzly movie coming out. I don't really like Space Grizzly, said sisters. Maybe we should just invite Papa to a nice tea party with my Barbie dolls. Blocks, said Honey. Papa can build with blocks. Honey was really into blocks lately. Mama couldn't help overhearing. You know, she said over her shoulder, those don't really sound like plans for Papa. They sound more like plans for you cubs. But Papa loves to do things with us, protested Brother. True, said Mama. But on his own special day, maybe you should plan something just for him. Like what? Asked Sister. Mama had a suggestion. Grizzly Grand and I overheard Papa and Gramps saying they'd like to go on a fishing trip together, said Mama. Why don't we take them up to Silver Lake for the day? While they're all fishing, we'll prepare a nice Father's Day picnic for them. That sounds like fun, said Brother. But then he remembered it wasn't supposed to be for him. Is it okay for us to have fun too? Of course, sweetie, said Mama, giving him a hug. And we can help, said sister. We'll make goodie bags for Papa and Gramps to snack on while they're fishing. Nice touch, said Mama. When Father's Day dawned, it wasn't even dawn yet. It was dark. Rise and shine, you young'uns, said Gramps, rousting the cubs out of bed. The early bird gets the worm, and the early bear catch the fish. What time is it? <gasps> uh, yarn, sister. 4 a.m., said Gramps. Why do fish get up so early? wondered brother, 
sleepingly. The cubs staggered into the kitchen where Mama and Gran were packing the picnic. Papa was getting fishing gear ready. The cubs noticed how happy he looked. It made them feel better about having to get up so early. They were soon bundled into the car and on their way to Silver Lake with a rowboat towing behind. As they drove through the quiet countryside, the sky started to lighten and the sun rose in a great glow of pink and gold. It was beautiful. The cubs were glad that they were up and about to see it. When they arrived at the lake, Gramps and Papa got the boat into the water, while Grand, Mama, and the cubs got the cooking things ready. They waved goodbye as the two dads rolled out on the lake. Good luck, called Mama and Gran. Catch lots of fish, called the cubs. Grimps and Papa just smiled. Out on the lake, the two fisher bears dropped their lines in the water and let the boat drift. As they munched on the snacks the cubs had packed, they leaned back, closed their eyes, and let out a great peaceful sigh. Ah, <sighs> they said. A little breeze ruffled the surface of the lake. A kingfisher flashed by in a gleam of blue. And a little way off, a fish jumped. Plop. You know, said Gramps, at times like these, I'm just thankful to be alive in God's beautiful world. This is a wonderful Father's Day for us. But we should always remember that we have a Father in heaven too. Yes, agree, Papa. It reminds me of the old hymn. That's a song. And he began to sing. This is my Father's world. And to my listening ears, all nature sing and round me rings the music of the spheres. That's the universe, the planets. Grumps joined in with Papa. This is my father's world. I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas. His hand, the wonders wrought. That means all the things God made for us to enjoy. The trees, the flowers, the animals, the breeze, the lake. their singing drifted over the water. What on earth? Wondered Grand. They're singing, said the cubs, amazed. Mama smiled. It sounds like they're having a nice Father's Day. 
They don't seem to be doing much fishing, said Gran. Oh, I don't know, said Mama, looking out over the beautiful lake. There are different kinds of fishing. You've heard about fishing for souls. Maybe that's what's going on out there. Sure enough, when Grumps and Papa got back, they had nary a fish. Nary means zero, nothing. But they had something else, a feeling of peace deep down inside. And another thing they had deep down inside were empty tummies. They were as hungry as two Papa Bears. Did I hear somebody say something about a picnic? Asked Gramps. And after saying grace, a fine Father's Day feast was had by all. Wasn't that a wonderful Father's Day story? So remember, even if you don't have anything to purchase to give your daddy, you can give him a big hug, do something special that you two like, and that will be a memory that he'll have in his mind forever. And he'll say to everyone, I had the best Father's Day. All right, enjoy Father's Day with your dad. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.